Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a plus 2ab plus b, this is equal to 8. So what is the value of a plus b, given that a and b, these are members of integers? Now this can be positive or negative integers. So let's prevent the solution from here. So we have a plus 2ab plus b, this is equal to 8. So the first step to do here, let's multiply both signs by 2. So that now, here we have 2 times a, this is 2a, then plus 2 times 2ab, this becomes 4ab, then plus 2 times b, this becomes 2b, and this is equal to 8 times 2, and this is equal to 16. From the first step, from the first part here, we have that 2a is common. We can factor out 2a so that now 2a divided by 2a, this is 1, then plus 4ab divided by 2a, so this becomes 2b, then plus 2b, this is equal to 16. Now, if you check here, we have 1 plus 2b. We also need to make this part here to have 1 plus 2b so that we can be able to factor out. So what you do next, we have to add 1 here on both sides. Let's add 1 here. And on the right-hand side, we also add 1. So that now we have 2a into the parentheses. This is 1 plus 2b, then plus 1 plus 2b. This is equal to 16 plus 1. This is equal to 17. So if you can you can see here we have 1 plus 2b and here we have 1 plus 2b. So from here we can factor out 1. 1 is common here. So we have 2a into the parentheses. This is 1 plus 2b. Cross the parentheses. Then plus 1. Into the parentheses. This is 1 plus 2b then this is equal to 17. Now, 1 plus 2b is common here, so we can factor out 1 plus 2b. And then we have here 2a plus 1. This is equal to 17. The next step is that let's get the prime factors of 17. So we have 17 times 1, we have 1 times 17, then we have minus 17 times minus 1, then we have minus 1 times minus 17. So in this case, we have four cases here. We have 1, this is the first case, this is the second case, this is the third case, and this is the fourth case. So let's start with case 1. Case 1 here, we have 1 plus 2b multiplied by 2a plus 1. This is equal to 17 times 1. So that now we have 1 plus 2b. This is equal to 17. And that we have 2a plus 1. This is equal to 1. So from this, we have 1 plus 2b, this is equal to 17. So let's take 1 on the right-hand side, so that we have 2b, this is equal to 17 minus 1. And therefore, 2b, this is equal to 17 minus 1, and this is equal to 16. So let's divide both signs by 2, so that now b is equal to 16 divided by 2, and this is equal to 8. Now we have b is equal to 8, and given that 2a plus 1, this is equal to 1, we can solve for a, remember this is 2a, let's take plus 1 on the right hand side, so this is the same thing as 1 minus 1, and therefore we have 2a is equal to 1 minus 1, this is equal to 0. So this implies that from here, that a is equal to 0. 
So the question is, what is A plus B? And this is equal to 0 plus B, which is 8. So in case 1, A plus B, this is equal to 8. This is the first solution. Let's proceed to case 2. So in case 2, we have 1 plus 2B. Then we have 2A plus 1. This is equal to 1 times 17. So 1 plus 2B, this is equal to 1. And then 2A plus 1, this is equal to 17. So this implies that from the first part here, we have 1 plus 2B, this is equal to 1. And therefore, 2B is equal to, let's take 1 on the right hand side. So this is 1 minus 1. And 2B is equal to 0. So that now, B is equal to 0. B is equal to 0. So we can solve for A in the second part here. We have 2A plus 1. This is equal to 17. Let's take 1 on the right hand side. So that 2a is equal to 17 minus 1. So we have 2a, this is equal to 16. So let's divide both sides by 2. So that now a is equal to 8. So again here, the question is what is a plus b? And in this case, we have 8 plus b, which is 0. And the answer here is 8. So let's proceed to case, case 3. Now, in case 3, we have 1 plus 2b multiplied by 2a plus 1. This is equal to minus 17 times minus 1. So we have 1 plus 2b. This is equal to minus 17. Then 2a plus 1, this is equal to minus 1. From the first part here, we have 2b, this is equal to minus 17, subtract 1. And then this means that 2b is equal to minus 17 minus 1, this is minus 18. So let's divide both sides by 2, so that b is equal to minus 18 divided by 2, this is minus 9. So this is the value of b from here. So in case 3 here, b is equal to minus 9. So we have that 2a plus 1, this is equal to minus 1. So let's take plus 1 on the right hand side. So we have 2a, this is equal to minus 1 minus 1. And this implies that 2a, this is equal to minus 2. So let's divide both sides by 2. So that now, a is equal to minus 1. So that now, a plus b, in this case, we have minus 1 plus minus 9. And this is equal to minus 1 minus 9. And this is equal to minus 10. So we have that in case 3, a plus b, this is equal to minus 10. And last 3, let's proceed to case 4. In case 4, we have 1 plus 2b multiplied by 2a plus 1. This is equal to negative 1 times negative 17. So this implies that 1 plus 2b this is equal to minus 1. And that 2a plus 1, this is equal to minus 17. So from the first part here, we have 2b. This is equal to, now we have minus 1 here. Let's take plus 1 on the right hand side. So this means we have minus 1. So that now 2b is equal to minus 2. So if you divide by 2 here, this implies that b is equal to minus 1. For the case of a here, we have 2a plus 1. This is equal to minus 17. 
So we have 2a, this is equal to minus 17. Let's take plus 1 on the right hand side, so this is minus 1. And therefore, 2a is equal to minus 18. So let's divide both sides by 2, so that now a is equal to minus 18 over 2, and this is minus 9. And this implies that a plus b, in this case, this is equal to minus 9 plus b, which is minus 1. And therefore, a plus b, this is equal to minus 9 minus 1, and this is equal to minus 10. So this is the solution in case 4. So, kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. And if you have alternative solution here, or method, kindly showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video.